What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So not too long ago I uploaded a video about Seraph Mortis because Seraph Mortis was uh, coming in a patch in Shadowlands where Blizzard actually redesigned all of the gear that dropped off the mobs in Seraph Mortis, meaning that if you go back there now and just farm the mobs for basic green item, all of those green items have a unique appearance and there's a lot of people that came back in Dragonflight that don't have those transmog items added to their wardrobe. So they were selling way faster than usual transmog and they usually bring in uh, more gold as well. So seeing how a lot of you guys made big gold on that, I thought that it was time to show this spot again in Nasiatar because Nasiatar was also one of those things that happened uh, in BFA where they added the content uh, Nasiatar and all of the green items that drops in Asitar have a unique appearance, so they're worth a lot of gold. I'm going to show you guys some of the uh, the full sets that you guys can get from uh, from Nasitar. It is really, really good. So, for instance, we have the Reef Walker set. Now, all of these items, as you can see, I got some sales on them, but I haven't cleaned out my mailbox yet, so uh, it's it's a while ago because I, I got sold out. But all of these, doesn't matter which one I look at, you can take a look at my ATT, the add-on, they don't share a single appearance with any other item in the game. And that's just, that's one out of four sets. You also have the Slither Shell set, which is the exact same thing. They don't share appearance with anything, so they sell pretty damn well. Uh, and then you have the, uh, the Deep Tide set, Deep Tide. Exactly same thing, like doesn't share any other appearance with any other item. And then finally you have the last uh, set, which is the Wave Crash set. Uh, same thing, no uh, sharing appearances. And these are just the armor sets, but keep in mind, there's also a ton of different weapons and offhands that drops from Nasutar mobs that also have a unique appearance or only shares with a couple of uh, other items that's also from some kind of loot source from Nasutar. So it's a great farm, and the spot that I would recommend you guys to farm at takes place right here in Nasutar. And uh, you guys can take a look when we did it on stream a couple of days ago, uh, just to see how insane the respawn rates are. Now these guys are elites, because they're elites, you're also going to average like roughly 10,000 raw gold an hour in literally just picking up silver from the mobs or gold and vendoring uh, the gray items. But keep in mind though, some of the gray items are also worth putting up on the auction house. But I just wanted to show this clip just so you guys could see the insane spawn rate of these guys. Uh, they, they are connected to a quest, so they're spawning extremely fast. And now that we're level 70, the mobs being uh, elite doesn't really matter at all. Now, if you guys don't have access to Nasutar, no worries. You should get access to Nasutar anyways for future gold making. Uh, but you just got to pick up the, the starting quest in Boralus. Uh, and uh, it, it, it's done in like five minutes to get access to Nasutar. And the reason why I say you should get access to it, obviously because of the unique transmog. But also... Historically, it's been uh, wise to go back to Nasutar to farm uh, Sinanfid, for instance. Uh, even the ore has had a, a relatively good gold per hour at some point. So you never know what's going to happen in the future. So I would definitely advise you guys, even if you don't have access now, spend the 5-10 minutes, get access to Nasutar. And a big thank you to everyone that has recently signed up for the VIP Discord. If you guys don't know what the VIP Discord is, it's pretty much like a Patreon, but everything happens on a Discord. And on that Discord, there's a bunch of exclusive stuff. Like, you'll get to see all of these YouTube videos before they go live for anyone else to see them. And we also have, uh, like, spreadsheet lists and anything I can think of to help you guys make gold. We're talking about, like, which investments I'm making ahead of current events and patches and expansions and much more. But you can read about it down below together with the 0 to 10 million gold guide, which you'll find linked in the uh, pinned comment, but also in the description down below. With that being said... That was pretty much it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all back in at the next video. But until then, bye-bye.